making a characteristic click, black and white stones are placed on a grid. This is Go, a game that's known to virtually everyone in Japan. These days there are Go enthusiasts all over the world. Let's explore the timeless allure of this fascinating traditional board game. Today, there are about 3 million Go players in Japan alone. Some Japanese play Go for fun at home. Because the rules are simple, children can pick it up quickly and the whole family can join in. It's great because it brings the family together. The children found they could beat me, and that's when they really started liking it. So, how do you play the game of Go? First, the board, which is called a Go Ban. On the Go Ban, you place these stones, white and black. The rules are simple. The game is played by two players and the object is to outmaneuver your opponent. The board is a grid of 19 vertical and 19 horizontal lines. The stones are placed on intersections. After a stone is played, it cannot be moved. The area of the board controlled by your stones becomes your territory. The aim is to hold more territory than your opponent. The size of your territory is calculated by the number of intersections controlled by your stones. In this corner of the board, white controls 8 points and black 7. The total number for each color is added up to determine the winner. is said to have originated in China some 4,000 years ago. It's thought that in the early days it had some connection with astronomy and astrology. The game is believed to have arrived in Japan in the 5th century. In Nara, the Shaw Soin treasure house preserves numerous valuable artifacts from long ago, including Japan's oldest Go board. It is said to have been a favorite item of a famous emperor in the 8th century. Back then, Go was one of the most popular amusements among the imperial family and aristocrats of the narrow period. became popular with military commanders. The game is all about strategically expanding your territory, so it was seen as a valuable pastime by generals aiming to expand their conquest through war. The 17th century saw the emergence of professional Go players. An annual competition held in Edo Castle was an opportunity for them to show off their skills. It was around then that special Go houses where ordinary people could play started to appear. Go became a pastime that could be enjoyed by the public at large. Today, with the spread of the internet, you can play Go online against anyone you like. In such countries as China, Korea, Thailand and Germany, more and more people are playing Go. Today the game is played in about 70 countries and regions by more than 40 million people. With its appeal transcending national borders, Go is now enjoyed by people all over the world.